Have you ever considered how an orphan girl became the queen of Persia and saved her people from annihilation? Today we journey back in time to ancient Persia, where a compelling tale of faith, courage, and divine providence unfolds. Meet Esther, a young Jewish girl, orphaned at a tender age. She was raised by her loving cousin Mordecai in a foreign land, far from her ancestral roots. Despite the adversities, Esther was a beacon of resilience, kindness, and humility, attributes that would later be instrumental in her extraordinary journey. Life took a surprising turn when King Xerxes, the ruler of Persia, began to seek a new queen. Among the many beautiful women from across his vast kingdom, it was Esther who found favor in his eyes. A humble Jewish girl became the queen of Persia, a position of power and influence. But becoming a queen was not the end of Esther's journey, rather it was just the beginning of a path that would require courage, faith, and the heart of a true queen. Esther's story isn't just about her unexpected rise to the throne, it's a tale about an ordinary girl placed in extraordinary circumstances, a girl who responded with extraordinary bravery. It's about a woman who was willing to risk it all for the sake of her people, even if it meant standing before the king uninvited, which was punishable by death. In Esther, we see an unlikely queen, a woman who stepped beyond the comfort of her palace to answer a divine calling. Her story reminds us that God can work through anyone, regardless of their circumstances or background. It highlights that courage isn't the absence of fear, but the decision to move forward despite it. Esther's humble beginnings did not define her. Instead, they equipped her for the significant role she was destined to play. Her courage and faith were her guiding stars, leading her on a path that would ultimately save her people. From an orphan to a queen, Esther's story is just beginning to unfold. The tale of this unlikely queen is a testament to the power of faith and courage, a story that continues to inspire us to this day. What would you do if you discovered a plot to eliminate your entire race? A chilling question indeed. Now imagine the scene. The Persian kingdom in all its grandeur was home to a dark secret, a deadly plot conceived by a man named Haman. His hatred for Mordecai, a Jew who refused to bow before him, had grown so intense that Haman decided to exterminate all Jews in the kingdom. Yes, you heard that right. A plot to wipe out an entire race, simply because of one man's pride and prejudice. In this twisted narrative, Mordecai discovered Haman's cruel intentions. The news hit him like a bolt of lightning, but he didn't let fear paralyze him. Instead, he sent word to Esther, the queen, who was herself a Jew. The message was clear. Their people were in danger, and it was up to Esther to save them. Imagine the weight of that news, the immense responsibility thrust upon her shoulders. Esther, a queen living in the comfort of her palace, was suddenly faced with a horrifying reality. The lives of her people hung in the balance, and she was their only hope. She was confronted with a life-altering decision. Would she risk her own life to save her people? The stakes were higher than ever, the danger was real, and the decision she had to make was, without a doubt, the most difficult one she had ever faced. But Esther was not just Wait, any queen. Wait! Don't leave yet! What's up, guys? Here's my side news. I am now a sponsored athlete for Underdog Clothing Brand, guys. So, guys, you know, they have some nice clothes, nice shirts. That's a nice, that's a nice accessories, man. That's a nice um, sports accessories. They have some nice clothes for women as well. Um, not, not just men, women too as well. And, 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 and you know, they, they, they have some nice stuff, guys. So, so you know, make sure y'all shop there, man. Just it, just shop there. The Lord puts it on your heart to shop there, man. And also, guys, if you, if you use my code Jesus save, you should get 15% off, guys. So, guys, make, make sure you do that as well, guys. To the Lord lead you to, guys. And also, as well, guys, I'm now, I'm, I, I'm, I'm also a, um, I'm also a um ambassador for Seek Jesus as well. I've been ambassador actually for a year and a half. I just never I never obeyed the Lord and I never I never listened to him. But um I repent for that. <laughs> I repent for that, Lord. I'm sorry, God. But you know, guys, let's expand the kingdom. There's too many demonic clothing brands out here. Let, let, let's expand the kingdom of God through clothing. Let's let let's wear more Jesus clothing and let's show let's let's show let, let, let's show the unbelievers, let's show the unbelievers that it's cool to be a Christian because our goal is to save souls for for Jesus Christ. So all info, all info will be will be down in the, in the description below, guys. 
but also for Jesus, also for seek Jesus. If if you, if you use my code, homie Trey, you, you get fifty percent off, guys. So guys, you know the Lord leads you to shop there, man. Shop there, bro, and just you know, just just you know, let's expand the the kingdom of God through clothing. Y'all have a God bless day, man, and peace. She was a woman of faith, a woman who understood that sometimes destiny calls us to step out of our comfort zones and into the unknown. She knew that this was not just about her, it was about her people, her faith, and the legacy she would leave behind. This was the moment for Esther to step into her destiny, a destiny that would demand great courage and faith. Can you imagine the fear and courage it would take to risk your life for your people? Now picture Esther, an unlikely queen, faced with a momentous decision, a decision that could cost her everything, even her life. At this pivotal point in her story, Esther is confronted with a deadly plot against her people. The only way to save them is to approach the king uninvited, a move that could result in her death. The law of the land was clear, anyone who approached the king without being summoned was put to death, unless the king extended his golden scepter to them. Yet, Esther does not shy away from this daunting task. Instead, she bravely decides to risk her life for the sake of her people. But what gives her the courage to make such a decision? It's her unwavering faith in God. She believes that God has placed her in the palace for such a time as this. She trusts that God will guide her and protect her. Before she approaches the king, Esther calls for a three-day fast among her people. She herself also fasts, seeking God's favor and guidance. This act is not only a demonstration of her faith, but also of her humility. Despite her royal status, Esther acknowledges her dependence on God. She recognizes that her strength and courage come from Him. Esther's courageous decision is a powerful testament to her faith. She steps into the unknown, trusting in God's providence. She risks her life, believing that God will use her to deliver her people. And so, Esther steps into the king's court, uninvited and uncertain of her fate. It's a moment filled with tension and suspense, a moment that will change the course of her life and the lives of her people. Esther's courageous act is a testament to her faith and a reminder of God's hand in our lives. Her story encourages us to step out in faith, to trust in God's plan, and to courageously stand up for what is right, even when it's risky. It's a timeless reminder that faith is not about knowing what the future holds, but about knowing who holds the future. What does it look like when faith triumphs over fear? Let's delve into the incredible outcome of Esther's brave actions. With a heart full of faith and courage, Esther revealed the sinister plot to the king, exposing Haman's plan to annihilate the Jews. This revelation led to a twist of fate for Haman. The gallows he had built for Mordecai, Esther's cousin and a Jew, became his own final destination. His plot, once shrouded in secrecy, was brought to light, and justice was served. But let's not forget the role of faith in this victory. It was Esther's unwavering faith that gave her the courage to approach the king, knowing that such an action could lead to her death. It was her faith that guided her to risk everything, to save her people. Imagine the strength it took for Esther to stand against Haman, a powerful man in the kingdom. Picture her, a young queen standing up for her people, facing the potential wrath of the king. And yet, she did not waver. Her faith was her shield, her courage, her guiding light. It was this faith that led to the salvation of the Jews. The king, moved by Esther's plea, issued a new decree allowing the Jews to defend themselves against their enemies. This decree led to the survival and flourishing of the Jewish community in Persia. The triumph of Esther's faith did not stop there. Her story has echoed through the ages, inspiring countless others to stand up for justice, to have faith in the face of fear, and to trust in God's plan. Her story is a testament to the extraordinary things ordinary people can achieve when they put their trust in God. It reminds us that faith can move mountains, that it can turn the tides in the most dire of situations. Esther's story is a powerful testament to the power of faith and the extraordinary things ordinary people can achieve when they trust in God. What can we learn from Esther's life and her unwavering faith? This is the question we grapple with as we delve into the final segment of our journey through Esther's story. Esther's narrative is rich with lessons that are as timeless as they are transformative. Her courage in the face of adversity, her unwavering faith amidst uncertainty, and her trust in God's plan even when it seemed impossible are all pillars we can lean on in our own spiritual journeys. Beyond these life-altering lessons, Esther's story also highlights the incredible power of prayer. 
Her commitment to fasting and prayer not only changed the course of her life, but the fate of an entire nation. These lessons, harvested from Esther's life, are not mere historical anecdotes. They are guiding lights illuminating our path to personal growth in faith. Just like Esther, each one of us has a unique role in God's plan. May her story inspire us to embrace our own journey with courage and faith. What's good, y'all? I have some exciting news. So I just started my own clothing brand. As y'all see, it is called Warriors Attire. It's called Warriors Attire. All glory to God, man. As y'all see, man, I just, I, I, I've already dropped my first shirt. So y'all can already shop now if y'all want and, and buy some merch, man. All glory to God, man. But this is all for the God, for God's glory, man. Just trying to save souls and attract more souls to the kingdom of God, man. And, you know, just trying to just, you know, put put more Christian clothing brands out there because we, we need to outweigh the darkness and evilness of this world. So, you know, man, just all glory to God, bro. Really started my own clothing brand, you know. The Lord really led me to because he told me, I want you to start my clothing brand. I want you to start a clothing brand with no money, no product. So I, I did. No money, no product. Just obeyed the Lord and, you know, just, just you know, started my um, clothing brand in faith. And, you know, I didn't question God. Just did it in faith. Just obeyed him, man. So make sure y'all shop here, man. Buy some merch. More merch will be coming soon. Y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name, bro. And remember, y'all, Jesus Christ loves y'all, bro. He loves y'all, man. Never give up. Always follow y'all's dreams, man. Follow your dreams and goals for Lord Jesus Christ. Y'all have a blessed day, man. And peace, y'all.